Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today I'm going to be talking about the Battle of Ulyane Village. Okay, so this is occurring if the player characters have decided to stay and aid the Ulyane Village. Okay? So, basically, what you, uh, as soon as this happens, basically, the player characters are aware that the Ulyane Village uh, has always had a small band of orcs that live near it. And they, those bands of orcs, they would do little skirmish runs. They would, you know, dust it up with the with the villagers. And they would, you know, maybe they'd steal some of their grain and, you know, uh, cause a little trouble. But it's always been manageable, right? But recently, what has happened is there has been a situation where they have... Um, there ha there's recently been a situation where there ha they have a situation where the that orc tribe has been joined by three other orc tribes and there are now 200 orc tri orc orcs in that orc tribe up in the mountains and they're going to come down that very night and attack Ulyane village okay now this is so at this point your players have decided to aid the Ulyane village right and you're going to tell them listen this is a very unusual uh, you know, and you can tell them, okay, you, uh, so basically they came into the village at like 9 p.m. This happens about, you know, about 17 minutes after they accept, okay? Um, and so it's happening, you know, uh, about 9.30, 9.45 uh, p.m. that night, and it happens very, very quickly after they get there, okay? And you'll see why in a minute. So at that point, you know, you have this situation where where they have to decide what they're going to, you know, what they're going to do. And so they've decided to help. And what happens is you have to warn them and say, this is a very unusual uh, combat. It doesn't match anything you've ever seen. So the first thing you see is out of the fog and through the rain, you see, you know, across 60 different orcs, um, you know, coming in a line, all with these ragged hatchety like rusted blades and uh you know just you know slobber coming out of their mouths they're in a you know battle rage they're coming forward and you can see that they, they you know they, they mean business this is going to be a serious serious fight right and then at this point you can say you see them come through the forest okay you are at the front of the line right but now i the game the dungeon master i'm going to explain to you exactly what is going to happen with this combat because it's not like any combat you've ever experienced in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. It is a different structure, okay? Now, all of you are aware of the folk hero background. And th you know, this is what you'll say to your players. Uh, all of you are aware of the, of the folk hero background. Well, this is, you know, if you don't have the folk hero background, when this evening is done, you will be dead or you will gain the folk hero background. Because the life or death of this entire village rests on what comes out of this combat. And also, you need to be aware, the life or death of your player character also hinges on what is about to come from this combat. Okay? Now, uh, I am not going to put any figures on a map. All right? And the reason why is there are 300 villagers, and there are all of you player characters, and there are... 200 orcs, okay? It would take us multiple sessions to get through this combat, right? Most likely, right? And uh, because we want to tell a compelling story quickly, we're going to use this different model this evening, okay? So, what's going to happen is they're going to slam into you, right? And, and, into this, and into the villagers, and every single one of your player characters will be completely surrounded. So each of you will be, and we are going to go through two rounds of combat abstracted, okay? Each of you will be surrounded by eight orcs, standard orcs. No ranged combat, it's all melee attacks. And you will each have to endure eight standard orc attacks, okay? And um, and also you can tell them, at this point, put your books down. <laughs> this is not an open book test, right? And you can say, uh, so... So basically, you're going to have to absorb eight standard orc attacks, each one of you. Now, you have access to all of your spells. You have access to all of your abilities. 
And in their two rounds, you're going to get, you know, all, everything you could normally do, you know, your move, your action, your bonus action, all of that you will get, okay? And you'll get two rounds of it, right? But each round, you will absorb eight attacks, and you will have the ability to, um, and you'll have the ability to, um, to attack them as well. Now, all of you are winning initiative, so in your first round, okay, um, you will, so in both the first round and the second round, you will get to attack first, and if you kill any of the eight orcs surrounding you, they will not be able to attack you, and their attack, their one standard attack, will be, will be minus from the eight you need to absorb, okay? All right. If at any point, uh, by the way, because you had, did not have any ability, because this, this isn't your fight, and you've come to this village brand new tonight, you had no time to plan or get the, the villagers ready, and because you are not familiar with what is happening with the rest of these these people, with the rest of with these orcs or anything they've planned, uh, you can you may not orchestrate your your attacks together. Each of one of you is isolated. So the cleric can only heal himself. Okay, and uh, unfortunately, the rogue is not going to have any surprise attacks. You're all going to be surrounded. You are isolated, and you may not orchestrate your attacks together. Okay, each one of you is going to be standing alone against eight separate orcs. Okay, so at this point, you know you, you you've laid this out. You say also, if at any point you go to zero hit points, no one is going to be none of your other player characters or any of the villagers are going to bring you back up to um, up to standard you know like no one is going to revive you if you go to zero you will go into your death checks and you will roll your death checks standard okay if you die through your through your by the way every single roll for the da dungeon master and for the player will be completely open okay seen by the entire table there will be no fudging tonight okay now personally at my own games there are no fudging ever and I highly recommend that for all dungeon masters but you'll need to say that say uh, there will be no fudging you will make your death checks if you fail your death check you will die here in this village period end of sentence okay um, and then uh, just need everybody to be aware of that right um, and then, uh, and then, and so everybody needs to be aware of that. It is each one of you against eight orcs. If they take you down, you within these two rounds of combat, you go down. Okay, you will win initiative. You will you will go first against those orcs in both rounds. Okay, that's everything you need to tell them. Now you said I have now explained this combat. You see these orcs coming in. Okay, the villagers around you are all holding sharpened sticks and clubs. You do not see any any actual weapons among them, okay? They are also, because it is a warm time of, of year, they are not wearing any shoes, okay? But you see, you see these orcs coming in, and you are in a position where you do understand what's happening, and you have the ability to move, right? So I have explained this combat to you. There is a, there's a little bit of shame in running, but you all have the opportunity to now run. You know, an hour ago, none of you had ever seen this village. And if you as a group decide to run, or if any of you decide to run, that is your choice right now. And your, your, and your character is guaranteed to live through what is about to happen, okay? Does anybody wish to run? And so you, you ask them. Now, I will say as a, as a as a fellow dungeon master, Scott Garibay, I'm going to explain to you why why I'm going through all this. Right? Basically, what I, what you're doing is you're constructing an exciting, different combat. This is completely within the rules of Dun of Dungeons and Dragons. It says at any point, as a dungeon master, you have the ability to make the rules match what you want to make a certain scene dramatic, and that's the entire point. This is life or death. For the player characters, and in addition, this is life or death for that village. And so that's what you're saying. And then you're also saying, hey, 
you guys have the ability to run right now. You know, you can you you can leave, right? And and you know, you're gonna have to deal with you know some sleepless nights, knowing that the Uyen village died because you lacked courage to save them. But that's it. That's the whole. You know, that's the whole. And so you're giving them one more chance to back out because now they know what they're really signed up for. Okay. At this point, this is how it goes. You go right into the two rounds of combat, okay? And this is what occurs. Uh, so basically, uh, the player characters get uh, get their full action, right? So you know they can cast any spells they want. They can they can. Uh, oh, by the way, if they have movement, it doesn't matter, you know. So if they move out, there are going to be other, you know, if they were to move to any other location. This is why you do not put this on a map, okay? If they move to any other location, it's just assumed that other orcs are going to take the place of the orcs that would have surrounded them, right? So they're all they're constantly surrounded by orcs. But if they need a movement, like for instance, if they if they have some kind of charge attack or anything like that, give them full access to that. They're saying, hey, I want to do a charge because it's going to let me, you know, get some extra damage. Absolutely. Give them every opportunity to use any cool abilities they have, okay? Then it, uh, use the standard straight orc, bog standard orc from the monster manual, okay? If they kill any of them, those orcs drop, and they will not be able to attack them when you begin doing the attacks against each person, right? Now, you will do each player character separately, all right? And you will have them do all their attacks, and then you'll have the orcs do their attacks against them, okay? If, um, so if they kill like two orcs, then two orcs are out and they will receive six attacks, okay? If at any point in the first round, the orcs drop a player character, they will go into their death check on that second round, okay? All right. You go through each of them, you know, uh, each player character, all right? And then at the end of the round, what you're going to do is the uh, the fighting of the villagers is 100% tied to the momentum of the player characters against the orcs. So what happens is at the end of the first round, uh, they the player characters have killed a certain number of orcs, and you need to note that down on your notepad, okay? And so let's say that it's six. They, that all of the player characters together have killed six six orcs. What you're going to do then is each of uh, you're going to take six. Uh, you're going to take the six of the. Um, you're going to take the six kills they have and multiply that by the number of player characters. Right. So let's say there's four. At that point, there's 24 kills that the villagers are going to get. If every single one of the player characters is still up, you times that by two. So they would go to 48 kills in, in round one. Okay? Then, the next thing that happens is, at that point, the orcs roll 1d20 kills against the villagers. Okay? Then you go into round two. Alright? Now, before we get into round two, I just want to say real quick, what if you have a really clever person and then they say, I'm going to find the leader. That is brilliant, and you can honor that. All right. You give every any anyone and everyone, uh, actually, only the person who asked to find the leader, not every player, you give that person an insight check. If they, um, if they determine where, if they determine where the leader is among them, and he is in disguise, right? He's not carrying, he's not wearing red or anything. Um... He, you will go against, so the leader, at that point, you will determine randomly which group of eight the leader is in against the player characters, and then you will, and you will roll that openly, right? So you're saying, hey, all of you have an equal chance, right? And then you'll say, okay, the leader is here, right? And then the player character who figured this out, he can shout out and say, hey, I see him player over there if it, you know if it doesn't fall if if the leader does not fall actually with the player then what you need to do is just say hey um you know that that player can that player character can call out and say hey you need you need to kill him right you need to, you need to drop him right 
And then that player, whoever he's in front of, has the opportunity to kill the leader. If, and the leader is a box standard orc, just like the rest of them, okay? Now, if the player character kills that orc, okay, the leader orc, the entire fight is done, okay? And what I say later about what happens if the villagers win, that's what happens it immediately if the leader is killed at any point, okay? All right. By the way, when, when the leader is killed, that shuts down all combat. The player characters do not need to absorb any more attacks from the orcs. It stops the whole nine, okay? And the reason why is the orcs will actually run, all right? All right, so at that point, and then the villagers and the player characters can route them, and I'll talk about that a little later. So let's go into round two. Round two happens exactly like round one, okay? And so, you know, they will go into round two, and they will actually, you know, deal with... Uh, deal with everything they did, okay, it goes on exactly like round one, the only difference is if the, you know, if the leader is not killed at the end of round two, then the orcs will roll 2d20 for the number of villagers they kill, okay, so the orcs can kill up to 60, um, 60, the orcs have the ability to kill up to 60 villagers if they were to max out all three of their rolls in those two rounds, okay? So, at this point, you end the second round, all right? And we're assuming that the leader is not dead at this point, all right? Everyone finishes out their, their death checks immediately, all right? And then at that point, you do the following calculation. If the orc kills are greater than the, vill uh, than the number of villager kills, then immediately what happens is the orcs will rout the village, right? Everybody screams and runs, the orcs go crazy, and they begin slaughtering everyone. The player characters have a choice. They may immediately escape for free on their own, okay? Or they can each, anybody who wants to stay, can stay and, uh, and immediately absorb 1d4 more standard orc attacks and with them, they can escape with a number of uh, no, with a number of villagers equals equal to their dex bonus. Well, I'm sorry, equal to their dex score or their wisdom score. Okay. Um, and if if they have survival or knowledge nature, that number is doubled. Okay. Um, but at that point, the orcs completely take over. The, um, the orcs completely take over the village. That's it. All she wrote. Okay. And the player characters escape. Period. All right. If the village, if the player characters and villager kills are more than the orc kills, then the route goes the other way. Right. The, um, the villagers and the player characters together kill all of the, um, all of the orcs except 1d20. 1d20 orcs run into the hills and are not able to be caught, okay? And then there's a huge celebration. Everybody's super happy. Everybody's excited. And that's, uh, you know, and that is what happens if they're able to kill them, right? Now, that is the full sweep on the Battle of Ulyain. And uh, also, this is a triggering mechanism for what happens for the rest of the village of Ulyane adventure, but that is the Battle of Ulyane. I hope you and your players enjoy it. Take care.